Okay, I'm back. I'm back, back in the house. Okay, so hopefully it's not gonna lag. Uh, let me see if I could get some share on uh, share on Facebook. Okay, good. Next, next share and. Uh, hey, thumbs up. Oh, got a thumbs up already and the person in the house. Hold on, let me get some more people in here. Uh, more. Okay, and share a Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I'm live again. I got nobody's here. Oh, one person here. Is it lagging? If it's lagging, then I'm on my phone. So if it's lagging, then I'm sorry about that. Happy big bro in the house. What's up? Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much. Oh, okay, so since you're the first one here, let me see if I can make you a, I think I just made you a monitor, so. What well, is not a monitor, a moderator. Okay, wow. So I just abruptly <laughs> stopped the other one. Sorry guys, I abruptly stopped the other because of lagging and stuff. Hopefully it won't lag now. Wow, this, uh, this look really clear, it's, it's really, it's really cool. So anyway, um, today's topic, cool beans, cool beans. I forgot. Oh, that's what this one other lady says. I forgot. I think she's from Tennessee. They said it. Is that a Southern thing? No. But um, I really can't say Southern California, Los Angeles. So it's like, but anyway, um, so let me get to the point, um, how to have fun in Japan on the streets. What's up? What's up? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Back in the house. Back in the house. Okay. So, um, oh, so let me get back to that. So anyway, this is what it is. Um, when the kids and the people are doing the music and they're doing the hip hop, everybody knows it comes from black. They just go on YouTube and see it. Black this, black that, black this. You can come out here. The low riders are out here. If you, I'm sure you've seen it and everything. But just like black people don't give praise to their own black entertainers, other people are not going to do it too. It's not like, um, you know, people don't do that. So it's up to the teacher to instruct the kids. But sometimes the kids don't care. Um, a lot of people think it's a Japanese thing, you know, when I was here. And I mean... You know, what you have to understand in Japan is there's a lot of psychological games here. And people out here do play dumb. And it's like um, somebody said, oh, why you learn to use um, chopsticks? I thought only Japanese people use chopsticks. But they know darn well Chinese people and a lot of other Asian people use chopsticks. You know, and it's like, you know, Japanese people aren't the first ones to make chopsticks. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so you got people that just play that role but as far as um honoring what we did they know you know a lot of people know the little kids probably don't know some of the mothers probably don't tell the little kids but i know darn well they know and they out there probably messing around with some bros too you know what i'm saying can i ask you something if you could give one piece of life evidence foreigners coming out here what would you tell them well what would you well, wait, somebody, messenger deleted. Oh no, I made a mistake and delete your, mes your message by mistake. Wow, remove, huh? Oh man, you gotta say it again. Uh, why did it get hidden? I didn't mean to hide anything. Remove, put user in a timeout, unhide user's channel. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Wait, I made a mistake and touch some, uh, I don't know. Put, you know, user, high user on this channel. No. No, no. No, no, I messed up. Unhide, you know, okay. Unhide. Wow. Okay, I don't know what I did, I must have touched something. Yeah, can't bring it back. 
Oh well, I'm sorry. You gotta. Uh, oh, you said drops and dying. Um, the best thing to do when you come out here is everything you know about Japan. Um, start over. Everything is toss out your mind and start from the thing. All your prejudice, racism, everything that you brought with you, um, leaving the customs. You know, just take it out and put it away and get your own impression. Um, Japan is not, no, it's not heaven by far. It's not heaven. It's more peaceful to blacks. As, um, oh yeah, you was asking me, can I speak fluent? Ah, um, my, this guy that just said that he's more fluent than I am. I've been out here. Um, I can read some kanji and stuff when I first came out here, but my Japanese is okay. You know, it just depends on the, um, what I, we're talking about. And I have to listen. If not, I'll just break out with the dictionary. But I can get by. Um, but I will say one thing. I have a dream to marry Japanese. I don't know, man. I mean, like I said in my videos, I do not advocate intercultural relationships. <laughs> or marriages for sure relationships that's on you man but these women got mad game if you marry a japanese woman oh this is my thing um the jew the the time i can um is um the advice the number of advice to you would be to um listen to all the two short songs everything that he said all the game that he spits in his songs the games that people play out here especially the women um keep it pimping um you keep your foot on their necks and uh, but you got to keep your foot on your own neck because the minute you give it up you raise it up and you get them um breathing room that's it that is it it's done for you you know the only thing that's going to happen to you is uh <laughs> is is uh you're gonna have to deal with it or you're gonna have to get divorced and that's it because once she got her once you get her your foot she gets your foot off her neck and she got her foot on yours that's it, you know, so you really got to keep it pimping. Um, dude, my brother in high school put me on hard to the R&B gang, hard as Whoa, whoa, wait, you know what? I'm going to have to go back into my, what you call it, to be able to read your comments from here. Uh, let's see. YouTube, is it live? Please be live. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's see. Okay, there it is, y'all. Is this it? No, that's not it. Oh, uh, life now. Okay, let me. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, good. I'm live. So let me see the comments. Let me see if I can read the comments from here because they're going by so fast. Oh, I can't read them from here. I don't know what this, how to do this. Well, they even stopped. So how it stopped. Uh, I'm so, oh, there the comments are right there. Okay, there it is, there it is. Okay, um, so it's harder for sure. Go on, go out, I can't. You can't go wrong. Okay, when he was in high school, let me. Okay, D, my brother in high school put me on a hard R&B game here. Escapades, I mean, can just blah, blah, before. Bef better than this crap, today's crap. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago it was good. Um, wow, I can't believe I deleted your message. So, oh, there it is. Can I ask you something if you can go get one place of advice with? Yeah, the best advice I can tell you is keep it pimping. Keep your foot on your neck. Keep your phone on name neck. Learn the Japanese, learn the kanji. Um, play a game, learn it, learn the grammar and everything. Speak the language. Once you speak the language, everything, everything opens up. Okay. Um, just like Mandela in South Africa. He they tossed him in jail, he learned the thing and he was next thing you know, he's president and stuff. Okay, wait, I gotta get rid of echo, huh? Uh, okay, hopefully I still get these things coming in. Cause I'm reading uh, ah, I know I know I had to pause that. Just turn down their volume. Okay, there it is. And I can read the comments at the same time. Okay. 
Um, so that's the best thing to do. Learn a language, keep it, keep it pimping. Because um, Japan is 180 degrees different from the States. So if you're cool in the States, you got your game in the States, you keep your game. When you come to Japan, you do that. Don't let these women with their little smiles and stuff um, um, trip you up. Because, you know, like I said, once they trip you up, it's, you know, it could be years before you realize they done put the okie doke on you. You know, and it's hard, hard to get out of that. You know, it takes years. Some people don't even get out of it. So that's the best advice. So this is too short. And um, and as you go through the game and stuff, you'll see. Because you're dealing with them, you'll see. Um, how long you been out here anyway? Because that's another thing, too. Um, it's harder um, for sure with, but with you, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I mean, it's like um, the best thing. Well, hey, what happened to it? The real deal. Um, oh, um, I stopped. <laughs> This one guy used to hassle me, but um, I stopped because of the last one I put up, I think I only got 2,000 views and I figured 2,000 views, people weren't interested. <laughs> what my mind was, so I stopped. But actually this is how um, GS350, 50, 50, 50 in the house. You know, I don't even know if I did right. I think I did my introduction. I need to make a real introduction, you know, but I haven't done it. But um, actually I said this before my other, I'm supposed to be talking about how to have fun in Japan. But when I go out, women come to me. Okay, if proof of that is watch the um, double whammy video with Ryman Guy, Gene, and GS350JPN. And a woman walks up and talks to him. I'm trying to talk. She's ignoring me, so I back off and just film it. And then four other girls come over and start talking to me. And so they're talking, blah, blah, blah. And then it just dawns on me. Oh, since they're in a good mood, let me ask them if they want to do this video. So I'll ask them and everything. And they say, okay, and then I make the video. Um, I don't go out there. So I did search one time because my friend, well, when I first started, but I realized that was not, that was really difficult. And with another friend, the ones with the two Chinese girls in it, and um, because uh, he wanted to see how I do it. So we just drive in and um, parked. So these two girls parked, went over and started talking to them. They're Chinese from China. You know, I did scoop, they all came. So they said, okay, I turned it on. And what you saw, that was all that was raw. You know, um, if you had to choose one, what would it be? Ah, uh, let's see, if you had to choose one, what would it be most important thing for guys to get with? What would be the most important thing for guys to get with uh, game, looks, or money? These women got money and they will take yours, but they got money, so you don't, money, you can't get them with money, because they'll, out here, you know how it is in the States when you buy and um, take a girl out, you know, the strings are attached to it. Out here, if you touch, they think the same thing. So they'll pay for everything. So money is definitely out. Um, the looks, you see white guys out here with some, you know, some of these beautiful Japanese out here with these crazy looking white dudes and some good looking, um, some white dudes with some not so good looking Japanese and you get some bros who good looking and don't be with um, a woman that's not good. So it makes it so the looks. Um, I have a friend who would definitely debate me on that, but I don't think looks matter out here because um, the women, a lot of the women they're messing with you is only because, um, like I said in my other videos, that the Japanese guys don't really engage with them sexually because they know how the women are. And it's easier for a Japanese woman to get a guy to sim and give her what she wants than it is for a Japanese guy. Um, just to, you know, just depending on if the girls, if the women are into um, the foreign guys, but I think all of them are. I don't think, when it comes to having fun, I don't think the women have any prejudices and stuff like that. Um, so I would have to say game, you know, because actually you don't, actually you don't even need none of them. All you gotta do is, just, I'm telling you, you guys do this. If you're in Japan, if you got a game, don't do anything, just go to a club. And if they're playing hip hop, go on a dance and just start dancing and grinding and stuff, you know, close your eyes and stuff so that you'll give them, a, the women, an um, opportunity to look at you. And then you open your eyes and you'll see at least three looking at you. You pick the one you like, tell her to come over. She'll come, if not, just walk over there and say, hey, come on, let's dance. And she'll like, all right. And you just start dance with her and stuff and she'll get close. And then, you know, when I touch, I don't touch the women like this. I touch, 
like uh like if this is the woman i touch him how oh, oh, let me see if i can do this i can put this oh, this is too thin but i touch him like this you know i rarely do this you know and i don't know why i do that you know i just like dance with him with my hands touching him like that you know i don't know why i do that or no 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 i do it like this so my hands don't, my, we're, I, you know, I hold them by their waist or whatever, but I just use my arms. I don't use my hands, I don't know why. But if they start feeling on me, then I use my hands sometimes and just start grinding stuff. And if they like it, they'll grind back. As soon as they grind back, after the next song, just bounce. And that's it, you know. So that's it. But all of that stuff don't matter. The game is for your protection. The looks is it they do have the looks do have its benefits but you don't need looks to get a woman in japan even if it's foreign because actually the foreign women i think they're the easier the ones to get the easier ones to get because um no one's out here paying them attention to these women they they suffering when it comes to romance and stuff and it's, it's kind of sad but and definitely not money because you can um, get money from them if they got money you can ask and they'll give it to you you know, it just depends on how they talk and stuff. But, okay, so let me get back to having fun in Japan until you guys ask me some more questions. I'm looking down because I'm looking for questions and stuff. Okay, so um, a good thing to do, like I said, is just sit down and um, go outside, sit down, stand against the wall, sit down in the busy areas, and just watch people walk by because you'll get a, a better... Uh, okay, can I ask you, why do Japanese men give... Uh, so much of their soul so much of their soul to women um i mean it's like in the states a lot of guys do that you know they just i mean their women are beautiful <laughs> i mean um and i'm not saying like that just asian i mean they just you know especially the ones that black because you know you got a lot of japanese men out here who look black i met a whole i met one dude look like prince i was really surprised I met a guy that looked like obama and stuff. So Japanese people, pretty much, they are black. They know they're black, but Japanese is their political culture name and stuff. But it doesn't describe what they look like because they, you know, you got someone that looks like mine, but a looks like a white person lips, a lips like mine, knows like a white person, knows like mine, looks like a white person, or both, or some dark, some light. So that doesn't matter. Um, but um, yeah, they love their women. You know, the Japanese woman cooks for them, cleans for them. Um, do all of that stuff from um, when they making love she just lays there and let him do whatever he want um, they don't tell um, from what I understand they don't tell their men not to come inside of them and stuff like that um, and they're just happy I mean you know when you first had your girlfriend you know I'm sure you was in love with her so uh, yeah um, the Japanese men they got women their women are probably the number one choice of all men on the earth um the one thing you're correct about a lot of japanese women have lips and thicks so yeah um they're black you talk to them you know um they definitely do say they're people of color you know because Jap white people came over here and off you know the history they dogged them out too you know and i don't know they just got lucky they didn't get slave real bad they were getting their people taken to different colonies uh, the women and girls getting taken to different colonies and stuff. So, um, they suffered and stuff, but you know, they, and then they went to war and lost, you know, so, uh, so, you know, it's, it, and it's not even that, um, there's some people still alive who remember that, you know, who remembers that. So who remember that? So it's, um, you know, you're here in Japan and you're here in a defeated country. You know, we're defeated people. Um, they de defeated us in our country. Our country is America. Um, all of us weren't brought from Africa. Most of us were already there. And uh, like especially Jamaicans, you're gonna ask them because Jamaican actually was started with an X, but white people came and changed it to a J or something like that. But um, uh, so you have to realize when you come to Japan, the people have always been dominated by their bosses, their leaders, rulers. Um, the white man came along and pretty much freedom. And with this new freedom, then they had to learn real quick to adjust because the military was doing whatever they doing and stuff. And then you got the 
Japanese people in those times uh, who cooperated, got money, got power, and you know, just things happen. So now you got the internet age and it freed a lot of uh, women. So, but uh, yeah, um, they love their women. I mean, and it's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you know, black men don't always love their women <laughs> because of the problems we have. But for some reason, it's just, it's something about these women that make guys love with them. I don't know if it's the bodies or the fashion or the psychological games, whatever, but yeah, it's, um, but you should ask them, but you know, a lot of them, when they, you know, they, a lot of these guys don't have girlfriends and when they get one, you know, it's theirs and they just happy, you know, you know, so it's like these guys in these different countries and stuff, um, virgins to they 35 years old, you know, it's like, wow, you know, it's a trip. But I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. But anyway, um, oops, another question is going to come soon. So anyway, um, sit um, into, just stand against the wall. Another question. Okay, she said, I don't know if you agree with me or not, but why are the average looking girls here the most freakiest? Thoughts. Um, actually, the fine ones, are, all of them are freaky. Okay, and that's why I tell guys, when you come to Japan, Find out where the beautiful ones live at, um, the rich ones live at, and go and hang out in those areas. And um, and the reason I say that is because when you get dumped, you know, it won't be so bad because you'd rather get dumped by someone who's rich than someone who's poor. And you'd rather get dumped by a beautiful woman than a woman that's average. But it doesn't matter, um, the freaky ones or the fine ones. I think maybe you're just hanging around with more... Um, um, average looking women than with the fine ones. Um, I've had some fine ones out here. And um, this one I was dating, oh man, she was fine. She was like the type of Japanese woman that um, uh, white guys would date. And she's the type of Japanese, she's got the looks that Japanese men would turn and look at her. One day me and her was um, out on the streets and. When I stand next to her and I'm with the Japanese guys, I kind of stand a little, not too close. And so these two Japanese guys, they're in their suits and I'm, they're standing here, I'm standing here. And she's like maybe this far away from me, you know, maybe two people distance away from me, I guess, whatever. And um, I turned to her and I said, how you doing? And she said, fine. And they looked. And the first thing they thinking of was like, I'm gonna hurt her. I won't say they were gonna hurt her, but maybe they think uh, she might have been uncomfortable. So they started saying some things to her, like, hi, how are you? You know, are you okay? And this and that. And it's cool that they do that. Hey, I congratulate them, but, you know, I still got to play my role. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know? And they're like, well, you know, and I'm like, but she's my girlfriend. You know, like, huh, huh? And I'm like, no, it's okay if you can talk to her, but, you know, I'm just letting you know. I understand Japanese and what you said is kind of offensive. So, but if you want to date her, go ahead. I don't care. Cause I, I will not stop a Japanese man from taking her. If I'm dating a woman and he wants to marry her, bye bye. <laughs> you know, that's how I am. So, um, but now it doesn't matter. They all freaky. They all freaky. I'm telling you, they read a lot. They absorb a lot of um, whatever they learn a lot. You have no idea what these women know. That's why it's best to, learning um, Japanese and stuff. Thank you, Six, thanks for the thumbs up. Okay, so you stand on the streets and you get to walking, um, see them walking by. And when you stop, you get to actually get to see more women and stuff. And they'll walk by and you just say hi. You know, if they say hi, you talk. Well, what I do is I just talk. Hey, good night, come Hey, where you from? You're okay, what you doing? Okay, good, good. Hey, you wanna trade lines? And they say yes or no, you know. And if they do give me their lines, the chance of me actually Contacting them is like zero. <laughs> okay, I even go to clubs. Me when we get their number the next day, I forgot I even met them. You know, I'm like, because right now I stopped doing that years ago, but I only got like a thousand um, people on my phone and stuff for um, line and stuff. But um, but like I said, I just go out there and do that and stuff and just have a good time. Um, another way to have a good time on the streets is um, they have this up on um, the subways, underground subways and stuff. Ooh, that's not cool. And 
um, don't go to like the major cities, but go to the ones where uh, they're underground, you know, on the big street, but, you know, and just hang out there, you know, and they come in and out and you just look when they come. Because actually what I love about Japanese women is the fashion, you know, I mean, they just dress like nice and I'll look at them. I'm just, I'm just really into fashion. And so it's not like I'll look and like, wow, she really looks nice. Those, I mean, those clothes on her look nice. So she makes those clothes look nice, I guess I should say. And uh, if they look, we'll talk. I don't really talk for more than three or four minutes because after that, I run out of things to say. Because I, actually, I have really nothing <laughs> to say to them. Because, um, you know, I, I never really did, you know, even in the States, you know. Um, so... Um, you can do that for fun. Another thing too, like I said, the other one, just get a bike and get on a bike and travel. And when you get to a um, stoplight, if a girl's sitting there, a woman's sitting there, it don't even matter the age. It really don't. Just say hi, you know, because I'm going to tell you something, man. These older women in their 40s and 50s and 60s, you know, if they're in shape, they bodies, man. Oh my God. It is. It just looks just like these women in their 20s, you know. And they still freaky and everything, you know. And if you can get one, because um, they got a lot of makeup stuff out here. MK. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But um, but the age really doesn't matter. I mean, no. I mean, for like minus one, stay over 20. It doesn't really matter. So if you 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and stuff, because they still active. Um, I've been with women in their 60s and it's like, wow. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm gonna leave these young girls alone. Let me stay with the older ones because you know you got that mentality thing too, you know, that you don't have to deal with with the old women, but they do got their game. I'm not saying like that, but it's just a little better, you know, because I, I teach on these two women, and uh, one of them's two years older than me, and she talks to me like I'm a little kid, I'm older than you. I'm like, all right, whatever you need your customers, so I'll just deal with it, you know. And her other friend, I think, is older than both of us, and she's in maybe in her 60s. I'm gonna ask her next time, but she don't even look at you know, and they, you know, the bodies. I mean, and this is one um, that I used to teach, and she was in her 60s. She got this mole here, but other than that, I think she's in her 60s for sure. But she's still active, still running around, and this light voice, and she still got a nice body, and it's like, whoa. <laughs> like whoa you know what i'm saying but um yeah so it doesn't matter um the, yeah the freakiest they all you know they still young in mind you know so don't matter you know and from what i hear the older ones have the more experience and um yeah they have the more experience and like in my days when i was in uh, goya i was in my 30s and stuff um that was just 30 or 31 when I got here. And so those women to about down to about seven years. So that would be 49. So the women from 49 and up, or maybe from 40, um, 49 and up, 45 and up. Those were the, um, I wouldn't say 10 years, so I'm gonna be 19, 11 years, so 45. So let's say the girls that were 25. The ones from 45 and up, those are the party women, okay? Um, the one says below them, things started changing. But I do know that the party women were there, you know, at that age, if you like older women and stuff. Um, another good way um, to actually have a lot of fun is just to walk. And um, just go to anywhere, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, um, where people are, and just walk. And when you're walking, just look at the women you know, or look in the store. So just look because I like the rivers. I like the mountains, of course, from distances. <laughs> I like the shops. I like everything. So I just go out and I just absorb, you know, what's there. And um, if I see old people walking down the street, I say, hey, what's up? You know, they look all high. And if they don't speak, they're like, konnichiwa. Not yelling, but in a loud voice. Now, oh, konnichiwa. I'm like, hey, how are you? You know, like this one video, I had this old man in it and stuff, you know, and he was speaking Indian, but I think he's probably passed by now. But um, he spoke English and stuff, you know, and 
he always he I get think he was lonely, you know, everybody else was gone or whatever. And um I was standing outside my store at a certain time and he just um how can I say? He would just walk by when it, you know, he I guess you remember when I'm always standing outside and so he comes all the time, so I just wait till he comes and we talk thirty minutes, whatever, and go, go about his business. Hold on. Um, have you noticed a lot of changes in the women generation wise? The only change that I see is that it seems like the younger women don't even care. The older women, they used to be nice to get a husband. The women now, they don't care. They'll act however they want, you know, because they have access to whatever uh, money and everything. So it's almost like being back in the States, you know, you're dealing with the sisters and they're going off on you and stuff like that. So they got it here. But, you know, it's not necessarily directed to us because they're not, their intentions anyway is not to really marry a foreign guy. And it's not that they don't want to, but, you know, when they look at the advantage of being with a Japanese guy and being with a uh, foreign man, then a foreign man, a Japanese man, um, being with a Japanese man, the advantage is far will outweigh being you know, with uh, a foreign guy. And the number one is reading kanji and stuff. You know, she has to always do everything for the guy, you know? And um, if she works, if she marries a Japanese guy then, whatever, but the uh, a lot of changes. Yeah, there's, you know, like I said, once the technology came in, it changed everything worldwide. Uh, but as far as, um, how can I say this? Um, the women, there's a pattern in Japan that um, when they get married, they go through. Or when they get out of school, go to college, find a boyfriend, by the time they go get a job and maybe marry somebody at their job or something like that, quit their job, become a mom and stuff like that. Um, but it just depends on who you're with or where you're going. So that's the only difference I could say. There is a difference but um, the main difference is technology. Back in the days, you know, you have cars and stuff, but you didn't have those phones. I was here before the phones even um, started coming out. And um, my friend said they had beepers. I never had one of those. But when I came out, then the phones came out, then everybody started talking on the phones, then, you know, and it just really changed a lot. You know, it just brought people closer and then smart device brought people closer. So the difference is, um, biggest difference is just the social, the abilities or the chances to socialize with other people who you don't know. I think that's the biggest, but um, yeah, from what the older women are telling me, they say these women are buck wild. <laughs> they got like no, no boundaries. They just doing what they want to do, you know? And that's it. But like I said, um, um, that was, that doesn't really affect us as foreigners. Back in the email days, yeah, um, 1990. I think the first film probably came out in 1996. I'm thinking or 97. Yeah, it was within the first two years, so it probably was 97. Well, it couldn't have been 95. Wait, yeah, because I was getting these numbers, but back then they would give you the house numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa, they give me the house number like on paper or something like that. And then um, then when I got a phone, I just, um, I guess I kept them and put them in my phone. But I never, I used to call them, but I was getting $300 telephone bills. So I just stopped calling them. And then it rang two or three times, I said, before the answer machine comes, because the answer machine comes out, then you have to pay. But um, other ways to have fun in Japan would be like to go to a, a restaurant. And they used to have this, um, like these, um, Alfonso, Happy Days, I think it was called, or something like that, with Fonzie and all those, those kind of, um, have you ever checked your e emails from those days? Those phones, okay, the reason I know it was 2000 was because within the first two years, I would say, I guess when those phones came out, so I guess it could have been 86, it would have been from, I came in September, so, September 95, 96 to 97, I guess somewhere around there. And I used to always lose my phone. And so it would get filled up real quick. So I hit 
I distinctly remember four phones, I think four or five phones. And uh, at first they were like 300, you can have 300 numbers, then it popped up to 500. And I filled them up just like that. Uh, I don't check mails from those days. Uh, it's like, what you doing, whatever. And no, I really didn't do mails because people will call. But the whole thing was, I noticed this pattern in Japan, and when you call them, they don't um, answer. And so if you leave a message, you just waste the money. So I just stopped calling. And it turned, for me, it just turned to one of those, uh, well, I want to say it turned like in and out Burger, where I go and get my order and leave, but that wasn't it. I was the in and out Burger. <laughs> and when they wanted me, they came, you know. And I was bored, you know, that was after I started messing around, but at that time, me and my wife had just started an open relationship. But, um, how can I say that? But, um, uh, yeah, so when they came and they wanted, I'm like, okay, sure. And I did have two girlfriends and I'll go to that. Um, I saw almost every day. Yeah, it was, it was a trip how we met. Um, they both came to me. And I'll tell you what, if you chase a woman, it's not good to marry a woman you chase in Japan. It's better to marry the ones who chase you. Okay, um, some other places that have way to go have fun. Like when you go to a club, right? Um, a lot of guys go to the clubs to um, pick up women and stuff, but don't go to a club to pick up a woman. A woman, just go to a club. Hey, thank you for those who are here still here go to the club just to have fun um my friend i think he's still here condition uh, i need to tell him back on. um go to clubs to have fun and that's what i do i don't even try to talk to women or whatever you know if i do um more than likely i get slammed <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i don't have i don't have it like that because um, I'm older, I'm an older guy. So when I go to the clubs, you know, you got those younger women there. And if they're, um, oh my God, oh my God. Wow, ah, okay, okay. I can't even log into my, I think, okay. But I have my handy dandy, what you call it. Okay, so when I go to clubs, you know, of course, it's going to be difficult for me to try to pick up those young women, you know, cause look at me, you know, my hair all gray and stuff. So it's going to be hard. So I just go to the club and just dance. And, um, you know, I guess my dancing must somehow excuse my, um, my looks or something and they'll come. So when they come, you know, we'll talk and stuff, but definitely if, um, if like a Japanese guy want to dance with her, I'm like, hey, uh, it's okay. Go ahead and uh, dance and stuff. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. So anyway, um, that's what I do. Okay, so when you go to the club, the best thing to do is go there, have fun. Get your drink on. Um, I would suggest you drink wine, drink it slow because it, it gets you messy, it gets you tipsy too, you know? And um, if you wanna drink your, uh, whatever other things that you wanna drink with it too, it's fine. Um, and just get in there and dance. Um, a lot of guys just standing around. I go on the dance floor and start dancing by myself. And for some reason, these guys crowd on me, the women come, you know? Um, one time this one girl, she, she was fine. I am not lying, she was fine. Why? Big memory glance. Had this shirt that went down. Uh, let's see. It just. Ooh, I took a picture of myself. It went down like this, all the way down to almost where her belly was, and it was just together. You see, her chest was sticking way out there, and she's just staring and looking. And I know she wanted me to uh, get her attention and stuff, but at that time, I just wasn't really into. I uh, want to talk to about. But I should have at least spoke to her from a business point of um, business point of view and stuff. But I was like, no, because she was like, I mean, she was a dime. And um, I'm like, you know, I let 
these other young guys, you know, Japanese, young Japanese guys, black guys, white guys talk to her. But she kept looking and stuff. But, but like I said, I don't go to clubs. Um, another good place to do is um, to have fun is um, you go to a McDonald's or a uh, Moss Burger or some um, hamburger place where there's a lot of people at. And you just go in there and eat and just start talking to the people at the other tables and stuff. You know, and basically the reason for that is just social practicing, you know, um, build your PR, um, build up your confidence or whatever, competence, whatever, to um, talk to other people and stuff. And I like doing that. Uh, me and some friends used to go to um, this one club called Lush, Rush, but they call it Lush in um, Japan. Hello, New York. And um, um, after the club, the um, trains weren't running, so everybody went to this uh, restaurant called Royal Host. And it would be like maybe no more than 10 guys, but the, all the rest women. So, of course, you know, my friends, I'm not scared to talk to women. So next thing you know, I'm talking to this table, I'm talking to this table, I'm talking. To, and so we're at, it's like four of us at one table, but we're engaging all the women in the clubs, you know. It's it's just it's just fun, you know. That's what I do. I don't know what you guys like to do, but that's what I like to do. Um, another thing too is I like riding on the trains, and um, Osaka they got the circle train. You got these other trains that you can just ride the whole distance, and you don't even have to get off. You just come back, take your one ticket. You're not supposed to do that, but take your one ticket, come back, and um, get off at the stop. You can go back to the same stop and get and give it back to them, or you can get off at another stop, you know, do it however you want to do it. And um, just the people that get on there, it's just really interesting. Um, a lot of women, a lot of people and just talking. Uh, sometimes when um, it's crowded, a girl, she'll, uh, this one, you know, a few people, they would be on their phone and, you know, of course you're going to look and, it will, and the message would be, I hate being alone. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm looking like, hey, I'm like, I didn't read that, you know, and it's a straight, it's a straight, uh, like, hey, talk to me. <laughs> you know? And I, it happened in um, uh, Starbucks. I was, you know, putting some stuff on this lady right there. And she wrote in this book and did it. She wrote it in the book and did it just like that. And he said, I hate being alone. And I was like, well, I wonder why they said that. And I was like, ah. Uh, I want to talk like ah, it was a little scary and stuff but um yeah um but the most fun that you'll have is when you meet people that one day and um it's this video i have it's called um nappy and it's a clip of this whole night that me and ryan um have you know we you know we just had some fun and um you guys who watch this girl marina and he, he told me he told me it was the big sister and um, we're just walking and I'm filming and she'll say something. So that's why me and her got into it, into the video and, and it's that whole night and it was real fun. So, um, just talk, you know, just talk. Um, you don't have to worry about being shy. Japanese women are not shy. Okay, when they play that shy stuff, that's crap because if you see them with their friends, you know, they just going off and, and um, talking crap and some even fighting, you know, and all kinds of stuff. So don't, don't do that. Now, if you, when you first come here, uh, you fresh off the plane and you go to a club and it's your first day there, just act like you're back at home in your own clubs, you know. Um, I know a lot of guys, you know, they steady looking at their watch or fixing their clothes and stuff. Hey, as soon as you walk in the club, all the women are going to look at you. You know, it's like, you know, especially if it's not that many people. And when you walk in around the club, they're going to look because women are naturally attracted to other people in the area. <laughs> you know, and what I mean is somebody walking around, they're just going to automatically look. So, um, uh, so when you go to a club, and it's your first time, just go there and just have fun. I mean, you know, but like I said, on the streets, it's just so cool because uh, you can walk down the street, see a group of girls on their lunch break. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you so cute, you know, and 
Of course, they probably heard it billions of times, but I mean, it's just good to have fun. And I remember one time me and my brother we, uh, was out in Tanabe or something like that. And we were just parking and all these women came out. And I guess he just finished at the uh, snack and they were looking good. So I got out the car because my brother challenged me. So I, he always challenged me. So I got to the car and walked over and started talking to him. One of them spoke, to a couple of them, they all spoke English. One was really good. The one, she was really cute. Her English was really good. And so we got to talking and stuff. And then um, she was like, her friends were all left. And I said, well, where are you going? She said, oh, I'm going to my car. I said, where is it? It was like a block or two away. So she, I said, well, can I walk with you? She said, yeah. So we're walking. She had this, oh, I'm in my pajamas. She had this mini dress on. And she was thin in shape, and she was just, oh my God, she was just like one of those tens, but she was like a beautiful, with a, I mean, you know you got a dime, but it got that extra layer of something, and she looked like that. And I was like, okay, so we, you know, I walk her to the car, you know, just to be a gentleman. And um, she gets in the car, roll down and went on and don't start an engine. And I'm like, are you gonna go? She said, no, I think I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> My brother's waiting for me, I'm gonna have to go, you should go, I'm gonna leave. And she said, okay, I mean, if you wanna leave, okay, but you know, let's talk. I'm like, okay. So I'm kind of like a far from the wind up talking and, and then she's talking low, so I have to get closer. And so I'm leaning against and we talking and stuff. And then she started moving her legs and I'm looking like, oh my God, you know, she looked really good and stuff. And I looked at her face, and I mean, she was like beautiful. And I mean, look at me, I'm not no handsome guy, you know. But I mean, I look not much younger. This, I don't know how many years ago, it's maybe 17, 16 years ago or something. But she was just beautiful. So I was like, okay, what can I do to get rid of this woman? And so I said, hey, can I touch your legs? And of course, I know she's going to say no. She's gonna say no. Cause it's like one or two in the morning, just me and her in this parking lot. I'm a black guy. And you know, Japanese women are scared of black men. That's a lie, but people like to say that. And so it's like, can I two legs? And I'm sure she's gone, no, I'm gonna go home. She said, yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't really wanna touch your legs. Oh, what I do, what I do. So I'm like, okay, so I touched them a little bit. You know, she said, that's all you're gonna do? I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? I was joking in the first place. You know, I just thought that mine didn't tell her because he pissed her off. And so I touched her legs a little bit, you know, and then uh, she grabbed my arm. And next thing you know, I said, hey, let's play again. She said, well, I said, can I put my hand on your shirt and hold my hand? She said, yeah. I was like, ladies, say no. When are you going to say no? <laughs> you know, because I got these videos I made, what I don't like about Japan. That would have been one good one. What I don't like about Japan is when women say I can touch my numbers, only joking. Don't joke in Japan. And uh, next thing you know, my hand is up there, you know, and so I take it out. And, uh, one thing led to another, start kissing and stuff, no sex or nothing. But we met later uh, when I went down there and she was bad, man. But I think uh, um, you got these beautiful women who live in these really dead places, boring places. And um, man, oh my gosh, she was... I think she was probably the number one best looking back. Um, she was, man, I'm telling you, she was so fine. If I was walking down the street and you guys would have saw me with her, y'all would have definitely said, nah, he fronting like he dating her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that happened. It was a trip though, man. And like one time we just like, went down, picked her up, we just chilling in the car and she just kissing and kissing him and kissing him and kissing him. And I was like, wow. They kind of find out later that she was dating some white dude. And I think uh, maybe they broke up or something, but maybe he, she, maybe she told him about me. And I guess he realized that that was the, he ain't gonna get nobody better. And there was no way he gonna get somebody better. So she just moved to Tokyo. Maybe they got married or something, I don't know. But I didn't care, <laughs> you know, they ain't more power to him. Um, but I think the, the, um, the most fun I've had outside in the streets was, um, when I go to, um, what's that place, Tana? To Umeda. And you go to any place where it's just a lot of shopping malls and just people walking around. 
and it is just so cool just to walk down here and Shin because they got underground uh, malls and stuff, stores. And it's just so fun walking there and just seeing the food, the clothes, the women. Um, it's just incredible. I mean, because I don't know what you guys um, consider fun, but I'm a people watcher, you know. And of course, I know with women, women, because I think one time I was in, I was rushing from Wakayama, and uh, I had to go to Kintetsu to go to Nagoya to meet this um, Korean lady um, for lunch. And so we always met for lunch, and we went to this one place and ate lunch, and made love, and I was all outside, <laughs> crazy. And uh, uh, she went to work, and I used to go see it like three or four times a week. It was real cool though. She kind of to me, but uh, one time I was going to see her, and it was this one Japanese woman, and she saw me, and she had this red purse. She was fine, kind of tall, and when she saw me, I heard the tick 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 tick, and I turned around, and she said, "Hey, hey, how you doing?" And I'm like, "Okay," but I only had like a few minutes to catch. You know, I had to run like ten minutes or something. I was kind of lost. She said, "Well, you going to some going to contest?" She said, "Oh, where?" And I'm like, "Where is it? Where is it?" You know, because the science unit you know, like really messing with me. Cause I don't live in Osaka. And um what's up nine people? Give some thumbs up, so happy, so happy. And so what happened was uh I told her I was going to Nagoya, she was like, Why? I said I gotta meet a friend, she said it's important. I was like, What are you doing? You know, yeah, it's important. You know, she said, Well, um, something like she wanna see me or something. I'm like, um, I don't have time to change numbers. And so she's like and then she stopped and looked at me like, Don't you know who I am? You know, and I was thinking like, Wow. You know, when if she's rich or she's a movie star or actress or something, but I'm like, forget it. So I just left and, um, and that happens a lot. So, but when you're in those places, those are like the fun places when you go to the malls and stuff. Um, but of course outside. So when you're outside, um, sometimes it's cool to go to the parks where people just, you know, walking their dogs or whatever and just sit there. You know, sometimes kids might come up to you some of the wives, the women, they're walking their dogs. I forget their wives. But a lot of them will talk to you, you know, and they will go out, which I'm not saying I have sex with you, but they will go out with you because, you know, they they still had a fun, you know, with their friends, guys, or whatever. Um, some might even invite you over to the house. Some might even, you know, depending on how they are, they might invite you to the house to try to get you to marry their daughter so they can get her out the house and stuff. It's just, it's just really interesting. But, um, but let's say, but that's for me. But for you young guys, um, when you're outside, you go to places where the shoppings are, like Hinjiku or whatever. And the best thing I could say is just talk to the women, you know. But a lot of women, when you talk to them, they'll walk by and they don't talk to you. But that's probably because a lot of them don't, um, they're really not paying attention. Uh, there's a lot of stress going on here in Japan. And um, a lot of people, um, they, uh, they're really so in thought. That's why in my, um, some of my videos, I say when you speak to them, just in like a deep voice, Konnichiwa, you know, break it. And they're like, ah, you know. And, um, but you go to those areas and let's get to have pictures, you know, because people still take pictures. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're so nice. And let's take a picture together. You know, you take, and you send it back to your friends. Hey, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> you know, she picked me up. You know, so it's all cool to do it like that, you know, but I think for the younger guys, um, a lot of guys pass up the whole day. The day out in the streets in the daytime is the best opportunity to talk to uh, women, you know, and don't pass it up. Starbucks is a great place to meet women, um, you know, so don't do that, but that's the inside. So what do you do when you're outside and you want to talk to a woman? Well, the best thing to do is talk to them where you at. Just start off with something simple. Try to get them to engage in, uh, like in the States, in conversations where uh, they do all the talking and stuff. But the, that may fail a lot because if a woman, especially if she's by herself, uh, like I said before, um, that probably could be the, her only day off. That's could be her only chance that she's going to have to be with you. And it's not, a, it's not all about uh, trying to establish or build some type of a, a, 
a verbal communication or verbal friendship. A lot of them want to just get busy. Okay, let's. I want to get off these streets. You know, I don't want to go to no K Cafe. I don't want to go to no Instagram. So if they got their own place, you can go back there. Or but they don't want to go to their place because they're there every day. So they um. So you got two options: take them to your place or take them to the hotel. And a lot of them will go. You know, because out here, sex isn't like it is in the states. You know, out here it's more. Everyone just does it, you know, because it is just a natural thing. In the States, they make it like, if you have sex, then you're going to um, go to hell. But I guess that's the religion out in America. That's religion out in our countries and stuff, like in the Western countries and stuff. But yeah, that's the best thing to do. When I mean, you see them and they by themselves, maybe 80% of the chance they walk in. Um, some might be going to meet their friends and stuff, but a lot of them, they're just not working. And they're just out, just... You know trying to find some fun and it's kind of hard for a lot of people who are not innovatively um, talented or creative and um, you know finding something to do out of nothing and so those would be the best times to talk to them um, each day um, trying to talk to 10 to 20 women um, I used to have these guys come to me uh, at night and I know y'all probably heard it if you're watching my videos. Hey, where's the club? What's happening? I'm like, oh, it's a little early. Got to wait till two. And so they're, well, I want to go to the club and meet some beautiful Japanese women. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I'm looking and I'm looking around and I'm like, all these beautiful women, what is he talking about? You know, and, um, I said, well, you can go now, but it's too early. You should wait till about one or two. And then, um, yeah, these women are so beautiful. I want to go to the club and find me a beautiful one. A fine one, they would say, a cutie one or whatever the words are. And I uh, think I would do one's Corona dies down. You are still very wrong. I said, yeah, yeah. I can go up there. No problem. Um, But, I mean, if you want to meet with the Corona thing, too, it don't matter. You know, I, th I think it's actually the 5G, but I don't know. But anyway, because um, people are still going up. But anyway, um, how can I say that? Uh, oh, so I told these guys, because um, they always want to go to the club. And I'm like, yo, man, uh, what you do all day? Oh, we just walked around. Da -da -da. I'm like, all these women out on the streets. And how many did you talk to? They said no. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, you're going to pass up all these 10,000 women on the streets just to try to talk to one girl that all the other guys in the club are trying to talk to. I said, you just wasted your time. And they, they're thinking about it. like, oh my God, I didn't do that. I'm like, yeah, y'all pa easily passed up 100 women. I said, do you even say hi to any of them? No. I'm like, what are you thinking? You are in the streets walking around with just hundreds, if not thousands, especially you go to Umeda, just thousands of people, thousands of women there. You know, you pass them by and you didn't say hi to just one? These are all grown men. They know and they laugh and I'm like, oh man, I'm like, what do you guys, how can you not even notice the women? But, you know, um, a lot, like I said, a lot of guys come out here with these preconceived emotions and these ideologies and um, it just totally mess them up and stuff. Um, the front, I think one time I was at, um, it's in one of my videos called um, Just Being There. And that was real cool because I was just out making videos and this one Japanese lady came up on me and, oh man, that was, <laughs> that, I mean, it's a video, I, hopefully I saw it, but it was just a trip how she was, the things she was saying and how she was all up on me and and I'm thinking, like, I know the photographer is her boyfriend, I'm sure. And I asked, and she was like, no. And he was like, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking lying and shit, you know. But for me, those are the, just the best days, just when you're just out in the street. And these women just roll up on me, man. And that's why when a lot of guys say, hey, when you non pop, what do you do? I say, I don't really non pop, but I like walking around the streets because you just get to see just so many variety of women that... 
a lot of guys who sit in their house and moping. Oh, in Japan, don't like black people. And I don't like my job. And blah, blah, blah. Go home. <laughs> no, tell them to go home. They're like, no, no. Like, stop complaining. You know, there's a woman out here for you. But if you're not going to make yourself um, available, then how are you going to find this woman and stuff? But it, it's, it's funny. Uh, let's see some more outside things. I'm just giving you some history of stuff I used to do. Uh, I just recently, I had this one incident with me and my friends a couple of years ago. And I think I told them my other babies. I like talking about it, so it's cool. So me and one of my friends were talking and we were in Umeda. It was outside a loft in Umeda. And so I'm eating some ice cream. And... This one Japanese woman walks by. And I mean, you know, woman we think over 30, but she was like maybe 24, 25. And her, uh, what's them clothes called? Her uh, interview clothes. And she walked by and I was eating ice cream. I said, hey, do you want some ice cream? And she stopped and looks at me, spoke perfect English. I mean, you, you would never think to. She said, sure, why not? You know, so I did the spoon and she ate from it and stuff. And, uh, we were talking a little bit. I didn't get her number or nothing because, like I said, it wasn't. I didn't do that to pick up women. I don't do that. If I'm going to pick up women, I mean, a woman or something like that, um, I'll just, I don't need any um, trinkets and stuff like that. And we talked to my friend. He was like, oh, my God, I can't believe you have one like that. Oh, my God, she just stopped. And she was engaging, really engaging and stuff. And I said, yeah. He said, I can't believe it. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, look, you never told me. I would have never known. I'm like, yeah, I keep telling you these things happen to me. I don't know why, but it just happens. But um, you guys have any more questions? Because I have to be at work tomorrow at 10 in the morning, and I got like seven hours to sleep. It'll be 9.30, so I got six hours to sleep, or five and a half hours. Um, Do you love black men videos? Um, I used to do them because I was out in the streets. And like I said, they all were just, just, they weren't playing. It just something that just naturally happened. Um, if you guys want to see them again, I will make them as soon as I get out and I'll do things and I got a new camera and stuff. And I'll do my best um, to make some. Um, but like I said, because um, a lot of people always thought my videos were about sex. They're not about sex. They like just get out of the country, see something, uh, take some pictures, pass out your business cards, talk to, you know, see the, how the piece is, go home, and change your country, I mean, your neighborhood, if, just in case you want to stay before you come back, get a BA degree and give instructions on what to do to pass the grade, your classes and stuff, then come out here. If you do marry a Japanese woman, it's best to marry one who is rich and beautiful. You know, all these women got game, you know, and if you get played, don't get upset because, you know, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, read the rules, understand them properly, and then decide whether you want to participate or not, because no one can dog you out. I mean, unless they can force it on you, but in a relationship where a woman's half your size, there's no way she should be able to mentally pin you down and stuff. Um, so I'll try to, I want to make some videos every day because I want to hurt and get my, um, my, um, partnership back. And I need, I know I should make a whole bunch of 10 minute ones and get a whole bunch of views because a lot of people ain't got time to watch an hour once. But, um, okay, there's one thing I want to do to help guys who, who can't travel to meet Japanese women. Oh, it's so cool. But y'all gonna have to pay for that one. That's gonna have to pay. So I gotta do my Patreon. So just whoever does his Patreon, it's, it is cool, man. It's gonna be like, you know, cause I'm the one that started this interviewing people and stuff in Japan. And do you know the do you, you know, guys now doing that. Do you love black men, UCLA and SMC and at the beaches and stuff. I started all of that stuff. And uh, I remember the first person who even asked me, he was a brother in Thailand. Hey, can I do your videos? Like you doing it? I'm like, yeah, if you want to. And it, it was cool that he nice, he did. And then years later, all these young guys started doing this. I mean, it's good, you know, because I'm, I'm sure a lot of made a lot of money and stuff. But anyway, I got to sleep. Um, I had a good birthday today. Um, had some cake. 
Then, uh, oh, you guys, you guys see my cake? Oh, I see now. You can watch the video, but let me, let me show you one more time. Gosh, my lines seem to have gotten logged out somehow. Look at all these. Oh, this ain't even my phone. Oh, it's on there. Okay, so I can't show you the cake. Maybe I should put it in as a, uh, as a uh, thumbnail, huh? That'd be a nice one. Okay, so I gotta go get some sleep. Um, do you guys have anything that you really wanna uh, buy? I think I got a link out to you. Okay, yeah, we can definitely go. Um, if you guys have any of those racist thoughts about Japan, get rid of that stuff. You know, get rid of it. Yeah, the people are gonna be, some people are gonna be jerks here and stuff like that, but that's life. Don't let that um, stop you from doing anything because in Japan, the um, it's a whole lot. Oh, man, I wonder if it's connected. Oops, I almost didn't want to do that one. Yeah, it's not connected. But in Japan, um, if you learn a language, that's going to open up so many doors. And uh, sometimes you get rude. I mean, rich people out here, sometimes they get rude. The poor ones are really rude too. So when people are acting funny, try to find out their social status, how much money they make it. And um, that'll tell you. And if a person's not doing much better than you are, then just ignore and move on, you know, because out here in Japan, you can literally date, um, go on a date with a different woman every day. And you can literally have 30 or, well, you know, if you get, well, if you only get like 20, you know, because uh, February is only have 28 days. So you can definitely um, have dates but the other ones, 30 or 40. So you definitely can have 30 girlfriends. Um, and like I said, just find a woman that's busy, meet her one day. And um, there are a whole bunch of women out there. They'll just meet you one day. And you can get 30 girlfriends, you know. And if you can juggle the time, maybe me too, then you can have 60 girlfriends in Japan, <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, I got to go. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. Um, I really need to clean my channel up and make it more entertaining, you know? But like I said, I'm not in it for the money. I wasn't in it for the money, even if people like, well, that's no excuse, fool, you're supposed to get the money. So I'll see what I could do to change up. Um, hey, it was fun. Um, yeah, I gotta sleep, okay, peace. Oh no, I'm still alive. Oh wait. Nope. How do you turn?